Hello, my name is Gareth Newham. I am the head of the Governance, Crime and Justice Division at the Institute for Security Studies in Pretoria, South Africa. The most important message to take away from the, mo the recently released crime statistics for 2015-2016 financial year is that unfortunately public safety is deteriorating in South Africa. This is evidenced by two key categories. One, that we see a fourth consecutive year in which the murder rate has increased. It is a 4.9% increase for the most recent year, bringing a total increase of about 20% in murders over the last four years. So our murder rate went up from about 15,500 people murdered four years ago to almost 19,000 murdered in the most recent year. Secondly, armed robberies. These are committed by small groups of armed individuals who accost people in the streets, in their homes, in their places of work, or involved in stealing cars through car hijacking. This kind of crime causes a lot of fear and makes people feel particularly vulnerable because they're attacked in places where they usually should feel safe. So our crime intervention should be focusing on those two particular categories and the factors that drive crime there. When it comes to murder and most kinds of violent crime such as assault and rape, there's very little the police can do to substantially reduce those crimes. Violence in society is the result of various complex factors that are socioeconomic or occur in very particular criticalities. Therefore, we need to start thinking about how do we make sure we're safer 10 years from now rather than thinking that the police are going to get on top of this on their own. We need to be investing in programs that reduce the extent of child neglect, abuse and trauma in our society if we're going to have young people growing up into healthy, productive adults who are not affected by violence in their communities and them themselves becoming violent. So we need more social workers, we need better trained teachers, and we need to implement interventions that prevent the factors that lead young people from becoming violent. Secondly, the police need to focus on those people committing armed robberies and dealing in stolen goods. The police should not see their job as policing all 50 odd million people in South Africa. Their job should be on the repeat violent or repeat offenders that commit certain kinds of violent crimes over and over again. They, with, through the effective use of crime intelligence to identify the networks and the individuals involved, particularly those involved in organized crimes such as car hijacking, proper forensic support and well-trained and motivated detectives, they will be able to get on top of this crime. So we really need to see very clear strategies at preventing crime, preventing violence, and in the short term, dealing with people committing armed robberies. If those two components focus our attention for the next few years, we should see sustainable improvements in safety in South Africa.